Hey, welcome back Design Squad and in this Design Tool Tuesday video, I'm going to share with you a very simple tool. And if you're new to Design Tool Tuesdays, it's a series of weekly videos where I share some great small tools, big tools, anything what for designers like you adds a lot of value in the daily operations. And today I have a very small but very cool tool, pardon the pun, but it's called Coolors. And as per usual, the best tools are the ones you can simply apply to your daily activities immediately. And without further ado, let's dive right into it. You can access this tool at coolers.co. Let's pick some cool shades right off the bat. You know, you can start as a generator. It has a plugin for Adobe, let's say. But, you know, since I quit Adobe from my last video, I don't really care about that. But immediately, you basically generate a palette. And the only thing what you can do is like, I'm just going to press space. It basically regenerates a new palette based on some algorithm behind the scenes. You can, of course, attach, you know, the pictures to regenerate from pictures, you know, the basic features you would expect anyways. But I like the simplicity of it to just simply tab it. And then let's say, oh, I like this blue. You can basically lock that color. You can adjust it. You can, of course, drag it around if you feel like it could be like a good reference point for, let's say, next palette. You can see alternative shades for it. So let's say the lighter shades as well as the darker shades, which is pretty damn neat. And you can also regenerate. So let's say, as you can see, I just selected the same shade. But since I locked it, I'm just regenerating complementary colors or contrasting colors for that specific shade. And if I like a couple of them, let's say these two, I can then regenerate the other ones until I find a palette which actually suits my needs or which fits my brand best. I'm just going to pick the random one, but let's say I'm going to go for something a bit more teal like, like this, for example, and I'm going to lock it. And let's say my, this is my first color, the key color in my palette. I can just regenerate the other ones. So I'm just going to pick a random one because, you know, it usually takes a lot of time to pick the right one. But this eases it a little bit because if you can define just one, maybe this is something like this, the monochrome palette I want. I can basically save it into my storage. So let's say I'm going to call this, let's say teal monochromes or something like that. I'm going to save it. And then I have, you know, all those successful. As you can see, I saved quite a few where once I liked. Uh, those are the generated ones, but however, you can also for example, this one, which is a bit darker teal, is very similar to the one I just uh, saved. Probably similar applications, but hey, it's a different palette. And I have a lot of rainbows, you know, funky ones, the ones which are much, much bolder in its application. There are some bright ones which are a bit more, let's say, washed out colors and shades. And that's exactly why you would use it just to create some palettes and immediately take it out of the way. Now, before I show you how, how I would export it and how I would use it, let's say, there is this explore tab too. So, you know, for some who is not keen to generate their palettes or you don't have a confidence in it or you're not sure what exactly looks good or what doesn't, just go to explore tab, pick the latest, pick the staff picks, someone who's running the coolers where we handpicked the, you know, the different shades. You can preview it immediately. You can then, let's say, if you like it, save it into your palette again, like I did. I think I already have this or something similar to it. But as you can see, it's really nice color palette. It depends how you, of course, use it in your designs, in your product design or UI design, but it's definitely one of the amazing ones. And then let's say if you would click on best ones, you would see the ones which attract most eyeballs and downloads. And as you can see, all of these look amazing. All of them have to be applied right in, in a rightful, meaningful way. But if you look at it, all of this is actually really good. So if you, let's say, not sure about something, not sure about your capabilities to pick colors, just take one and start experimenting, start to actually modify it maybe a little bit. So maybe this is the one which fits your brand best because you have reds and maybe darker teals or slate co or darker slate colors like this and just download it and apply it. See what actually works for you. But just to show you how it would work, I would just click export. And here's the beauty of this tool because it provides you with, let's say, a URL. You can download it as a PDF. You can download it as a PNG if you want to just color pick, let's say, in Photoshop or whatever. You can copy this 
SCSS, which is basically a generated CSS properties. As you can see here, I have variables and I have a specific color shade. Now I can just refer it in my code. If let's say you are fluent in front and developing, this is like a no brainer because you can immediately apply that palette on your templates or your functionality or components and so forth. Another bit just to highlight is SVG and Copic. Well, SVG is the one I'm usually going for myself because then it provides you with an ability to just open it wherever I want. I can open it in a browser and pick the colors from there, or I can literally open it in, let's say, Sketch or Figma, drag it in Figma and just color pick. So, for example, if I drag it in my Sketch immediately and I isolate one of the blocks, I go to Fills and I can literally just click to add that color to my document colors simply like that. I don't even need to color pick or assign and if I can just create a palette immediately if I want to like so and then as I design I can just apply those colors just as I seem fit. And so this is the beauty of it. It's super duper simple and that's why I like this tool. You can generate really quickly different amazing color palettes you can export it immediately, apply it to your designs and then experiment going forward. If you like this video, give a like, subscribe to this channel for more videos like these and as per usual, I'll see you next time.